Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, let's get into this video today on how I teach you how to set a work offset on your Sol CNC. You'll notice I'm using my surface plate for this demonstration and it's uh, 213 millimeters long by 160 millimeters wide. I've got the inches written down there for you if that makes more sense. Uh, we'll need to call up the probe to do this today guys, so I'm going into MDI, um, typing in tool 11, that's where my probe lives, logging in on the controller and pressing cycle start. The tool change macro will run now and it will put that probe into the spindle nose. Now I don't keep it into the spindle nose guys, but anyway. Now you'll need to press the jog button here guys. Now the jog button will allow you to press the power draw bar. Okay. And there we go. Up into the spindle. Uh, I'm putting my little surface plate roughly in the middle of the bed here guys. Now look, this is only a video demonstration. I am not machining, so I'm not clamping this down. It's just purely to show you how to set the work offsets today. Okay, now I'm gonna jog down now with my probe and you'll notice that my feed rate rapids is actually set on about 30% here so I don't smash the probe into the job. When I get close enough to that surface plate, I'll actually pull up the MPG pendant and take that in my hand guys and jog down. Now you can see here, this is just the rough setup here guys. This is just if you wanted to set a G54 in the center and you do want to be too accurate. Uh, you have the center mark location uh, you know, marked out on the job and you can see I've got close to it and I'll jog down to touch Z. Uh, we need to get into the controller now guys and you can see I press the offset key and just here I'm just flicking through the screen showing you where G54, G55 live. Now to actually gain access, we push the coordination button on the screen and then there'll be another button you'll need to press which is called teach in. Now the teach in will actually allow you to set it, okay? And it'll be show set all, set X, set Y or set Z. In this instance, we're gonna press the set all button and the set all button will be pressed once and all those figures in the G54 will update. And you'll also notice, guys, the absolute position becomes zero, zero. So you know that that work wouldn't just now set. Uh, okay, so let's uh, jog up, guys, safely to get away from it. And how about we set another work coordinate system on the back left corner, okay? And this time we'll just set G55, okay? So we jog down and across and over, uh, drop down to your Z height, Come in very slowly here, guys. We're using the MPG pegnant here. Once we touch off on the side, you've got to remember my edge finder has a ball on the end, which is 10 millimeters in diameter, so half of that would be five millimeters. So we can use the CNC controller like a big digital readout by pressing the relative button once. Uh, you'll see up the top left hand of the screen now, we've got all our positioning. And I'm gonna clear X, and you'll see X has gone to zero, zero in relative. Uh, now this isn't the work coordination system guys, this is just like a digital readout, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do now is to jog up in a Z and then come across five millimeters, uh, which will get me on that center line and press clear X one more time and boom. So now we can repeat the process on the Y axis. Uh, we'll jog over, down, uh, touch off on the Y, once again, in the Y, in the relative, clear Y, jog up, come over five millimeters in Y, and then once again, clear Y on the relative, okay? Now, we've got X axis set, and we've got the Y axis set. So now I touch off with the Z into the red indicator light, and I clear Z on the relative screen. And uh, you can see here, guys, what I'm doing now. I'm jogging up and jogging back over to that left hand, that far left hand corner, and returning all axes to zero, zero, zero using the MPG pendant and uh, dial wheel. You can see it here now, guys. The indicator uh, light will turn red, and we're, we know we're in the right position. We're going to push the offset key now on the controller. Okay, arrow across to G55, come down, press the coordination button once, press the teaching button once, and now guys, you can either set all here, or you can just clear them one at a time, and that's what I'm doing here, going across just for something different and clearing each axis individual. Uh, now a neat little trick I like to do here, guys, returning it, I, I like to do a zero return, which is a G28 move. I press zero return once, press the Z button once, 
uh, I've changed the feed rate here. It wrapped up and it's out of the way. So look guys, thanks for that. Thanks for joining in and uh, come back next time and I'll show you how to tram your vise. Alrighty, thanks for joining and see you next time. Bye bye.